Once again, you are welcome to this channel, Math Fusions. This is a channel that will make math easy for you to learn. My name is Justice Johnson. In our first lesson, we talk about how to convert decimal fractions, um, decimals to fractions in lowest terms. We are continuing from that lesson. If you have not watched the first lesson, I will look in the description um, of this particular video and you will see a link that will bring you into the first lesson. Now, let us continue with the lesson. Here we are to convert 9.8. 9 Alright, we are to convert it to a fraction in its lowest term. So like we did, as long as we have any decimal point, to remove this decimal point, come to this place, put a point, then to the left of it, a zero, to the right, since this is the last digit, we put a one. So we can read this backward as a stent. So, since we're having a digit before the decimal point, not a zero this time around, we are going to write this as nine eight, that is 98, then divided by the tenths that we have here. So our 9.8 is 98 divided by what? By 10. So now what we do here is to look for the HCF. And of course, you know we've done this before, the HCF method, we write our 98, and we divide by 2 to give us 49. Then 7 can come to give us 7. 7 can come to give us 1. Then over here we have our 10. And we divide by 2, which will give us 5. Then we divide 5 by 5 to give us 1. So which means that the HCF will become, for your 98, we'll write our 2 times 7 times 7. 2 times 7 times 7. Then for, okay, we can leave this one out. For your 10, we'll write 2 times uh, 2 times 5 for the 10 here, okay? So you can see that the common value here or the common number for both digits or for both numbers is what? 2. So our HCF will become, will become 2. So it is this HCF that we have here that we are going to use to divide this number. So in the next step, we are going to show that by dividing 98 divided by 2 and also 10 divided by 2. So we must do this, okay? Then finally, in our 98 divided by 2, you don't need to panic. All you have to do is to come to where you have your 98 and circle the 2. Then the answer is your 7 times 7, which is what? 49. So write our 49 down. Then come, to, of course, when you divide 10 by 2, that will give us that will give us 5. So we have 49 divided by 5 as our answer. You can still leave this one in mixed number. And how do you get that? If you divide 49 by 5, you are going to have... Um, 9 which is 45 then we'll be left with 4 upon upon 5 so that is the answer to this question i hope you understood it let's quickly go to the second question which is number two now in question two there we have four point what point seven five and we are to write this in fraction so we'll come to this number put a dot to the left of it zero then we'll write is zero then this last digit we must carry one so putting this in fraction we have four seven five without the decimal then divide by what by a hundred we take the number from backward this way okay so we have this so now what is the number we are going to use in dividing or reducing this term to its lowest this number fractions to its lowest term all we have to do is to come here and take the first number 4, 7, 5, and then we divide by, say, um, let's try 3 to see if 3 can go. Okay, 3 cannot go. 3 cannot go. Let's try 5. So 5 goes in here. 5 in 47 will give us 9, which is 45. Remember, 2 in 25, that will give us what? 5. Okay, so now 5 can still go. Now 5 in 9 is 1. Remember, 4 in 45, we have 19. So 19 can come in here to give us 1. Now, we take our 100, we've done this before in our previous lesson, so we start with 2 to give us 50, 2 again can go to give us 25, and once you see your 25 there, we have 5 here, and divide to give us 1. So, for the 475, we can write out this 5 times 5 times 19, we have 5 times 5 times 19, then for the 100, we can write out our 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. So you can see that the common number now is we have 5 here and also have 5 here. So our H 
cf will become 5 times 5 and 5 times 5 gives us 25 so in other words here we write our 475 upon 100 divided by 25 okay we've done this in our previous lesson now if you do this division what are you going to have if you divide 475 by 25 all you have to do is to come to where you have your 475 and multiply out 25 5 times 5 will give us 25 so the answer for that is 19 we we'll write our 19 divided by now the 100 you see here um we can remove our 25 which is 5 times 5 then we have 2 times 2 which is 4 as the answer so we have 19 upon 4 as the answer this is an improper fraction so either we leave the answer this way or we we'll break it down and if in order for us to break it down divide 19 by 4 the whole number part will become 4 which is 16 then we will left with 3 upon 4 so this is going to be the final answer for this question now let's quickly take the third example in the third example here as you can see over here we have 12.32 don't be scared when you see this decimal this way okay we are still going to follow the same way we did so all you have to say is so equals to then we write out all these numbers without the decimal one two three um two and divide by the number of times we moved this decimal to the right now as we did before we come to this place we put our decimal point now to the left of it we put a zero please you don't need to put zero zero here again it's only just one zero you put before the decimal then you move to the left hand the right hand side above this three you put a zero then this two that is here is the last digit so we must put up a one now, if you take this number backward as you, as before, you are going to have a 100. So, that is what you have here. Now, let us come to this place and divide our 1, 2, 3, 2 by 2 in order for us to get um, the ACF. So, 2 into 12 is 6, into 3 is 1. Remember, 1 in 12 is 6. 2 can still go. 2 into 6 is 3, into 1 is 0, in 16 is 8. We keep on dividing by 2, which is 1, 5, 4. Then we divide by 2, which is 7, uh, 7, which is 14, 77. Then in this 77, 7 can go to give us 11 times. Then 11 can come in here to give us to give us 1. All right. Then for the 100, we've done that before. Okay. We've done that before. But let me just quickly do that for the sake of those that may just join in in this particular um, video at this point. So here we divide by 2 to give us 50, divide by 2 to give us 25, divide by 5 to give us 5, and divide by 5 to give us 1. Now for the multiples of 1, 2, 3, 2, if we multiply out all these numbers, we're going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, then multiplied by 7, multiplied by 11. Then for the 100, we are going to have 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. So the common numbers are 2 and 2 and there is no other common, num uh, common numbers as you can see. So our HCF will now become 2 times 2 and that will give us what 4. So why do we need this 4? We need it so that if we come to this place we are going to have uh, 1, 2, 3, 2 divided by that 4 we just got known as the HCF then the hundred divided by that same four now in doing this what do we do we come to this place where we have done this our one two three two and multiply out our what our four so two times two will give us four then we have to multiply out the other numbers here two times two is four four times seven is twenty eight now what is twenty eight times eleven Please let me show you how to do that very quickly. So we have 28 multiplied by 11. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 2 is 2. Now if you add up all this, you are going to have 3, 0, 8. So we come over to this place. At the top part, we will write our 3, 0, 8. And divide that by, by what? Our 100 divided by 4. We come to where we have our 100, remove the 4, which is four, 2 times 2 to give us 4. We'll be left it towards 25. So here we write our 25. So this is now the fraction in its lowest 
10. I will leave it here at this point. You can go on ahead to break this down on your own by dividing this by this, writing the whole number part and subtracting that number you've gotten and then you write the remainder down and upon 25 as your answer. Now, I want you to do this number 4 for me. Try your ends in this number 4 and let me know in the comment box what you think the answer is. Then I promise getting back to you.